Hey, welcome back. My name is Bryce Lynn, and today I'm here to show you 10 things that you probably still don't know about the New Leaf Save Editor. Number one, turn in your furniture in the editor. How neat is that? So let's get an item here. All you gotta do is keep clicking on it and it turns the directions. Pretty neat. I don't think a lot of people actually uh, design their house in the editor, but if you do, this is definitely helpful. All right. Next one, this is a question I actually get a lot, but it's pretty simple. So for perfect fruit trees, do orange tree, just search up a regular orange tree. And then you'll go to one of these flags right here. And you can pick perfect four, which is a full perfect tree or a perfect one, which is one perfect, no fruit, or just like a regular tree, regular orange tree. So. That's gonna be your perfect tree. You can place it wherever. There you go. Pretty simple. Number three, public works projects that you can't normally get in your Animal Crossing game. So these could be special events or buildings seen on the island. So one I like to use a lot, it's gonna be Red Stand. Not to get confused with Red's Tent. This is a lot uglier than this one. Beware that some of these can corrupt your file, which is definitely easy to fix. All you gotta do is remove the item that you put in and it should be able to work again. So I think Lloyd in the main town will corrupt the town, if I'm not mistaken. And um, the main street bench, for me, never actually shows up. I've seen um, one picture with a town that had it, but that's about it. If uh, anyone knows about that, that'd be nice if you let us know. I didn't notice this for the longest time, but um, apparently it's if you are editing your file and you put it back in your game and it's corrupted due to an anti-cheat system that sees the file is from an older date and it's getting reloaded, so it's gonna corrupt it. So the way to fix that is to start a new save file on the cartridge and you're gonna export that file onto your computer then you're gonna go back to your other town, the one, your main town that got corrupted. You're gonna press the pencil, update and secure, and then you're gonna pick the file from the new game you made, okay? And that's gonna, that's probably, they say that's gonna fix it. I have never tried this before. I haven't really had problems with this. Um, another thing you can do if you have a, uh, if you have Rydog's plugin, you can import the file from there and I'm pretty sure that will have the same effect. So something to keep in mind. All right, the next thing is uh, something I'm really glad that we have. And when I found this out, I was so excited because this really helps me out with a lot of things that I do. It's the import map button. So with this button, you can click another save file from like another town that you have or maybe another edit of your town. And you can import the acres, which is gonna be just like the map the map placement, the items on the ground, the grass, and buildings. So the buildings ones is, is like kind of iffy for me. Um, I know I did it once and the file was corrupted, so I think it's it's just like a hit or miss. Might work, might not. And uh, grass is great for if you want to reset the day that your, gra your grass paths are uh, loaded to. So like, if you have it in like May, but you want to go, you want to change the date to like June, you load the town in June and then you import the grass from your old file in. So pretty cool feature. You can move uh, landscapes to another file, which is what I do a lot. All right, next one is another question I get a lot. 
dock placement because I know a lot of y'all end up moving your docks, but the you can't get the boat to line up and that's something I had trouble with for a long time. The island storage bin is gonna be the, the actual dock wood piece and you can move that wherever you want, um, like along the beach. So it's one space out, so it's gonna be in the water. And then you're gonna put your dock, if you have one in the town, like if it's loaded it yet, you're gonna go eight down and one to the left and that's where the dock's gonna line up perfectly. If you don't have a dock, you could basically put this wherever you want, and I'm pretty sure the dock will just, the boat will just spawn where it's supposed to be when you load that. So eight down would be right here, and one to the left would be there, so I would need to use the coordinates to get it there. So you just modify these to make sure it was down there, because you can't click it. All right, next tip is going to be the maintenance button. I used to use this a lot when, um... I would still play in the town when I hacked it. So you can add a perfect fruit to all the trees. That's just gonna be just one fruit out of the three, which is gonna be perfect. You can do water all the flowers and remove all the weeds. So if you like to play like that, that's definitely a nice tip to know. All right, next thing is something that might not be super useful, but maybe interesting to know. So let's see, let's get a pitfall seed. You can basically get any item here, but just for practical reasons, get a pitfall seed. And we want to bury this seed in the town. So there's two flags, flag one, flag two. So these are gonna do different things for you. So if I want to bury an item, I select the item. I click here, click custom and type in a number. So for buried, it's 80. All right, then you just click the place in the town and there's your buried item. So let's see if we want, another thing you can do is water items. So if you wanna water a rose, that code is gonna be 48. Place it and there you go, you got watered roses. Uh, why you would need to do this, I don't really know, but there is also other things you can do with flags, like when you take your item to Cyrus and you get it customized, that's adding a flag to it. So you could also get those items in the editor without going to Cyrus using those flags here. So you can save yourself a lot of time doing that instead of talking to Cyrus. And um, there is a, like a spreadsheet a nice young man uh, made and I didn't really get it to work when I tried to type in the codes and I got just regular items, but maybe y'all can get it to work. I'll let y'all try it out. I'll link it down below. See if that's helpful. Number nine, customizing the villagers' houses here, which can be pretty tricky. So I don't really like to mess with that. You can customize their umbrella. So when it's raining and uh, they take out their umbrella, that's the kind. And their shirt. This is something I never noticed for the longest time, but you can change what they're wearing, which is so cool. If you want all your little villagers wearing the same shirt, you can do that. So if I wanted to do that one. And they don't wear dresses, just shirts. So change it to whatever you want and the song that plays in their house, their wall, and their floor. Lots of customization, which is pretty great. You can also change their catchphrase here if you want to do that. And the last thing that you might not know about the new Leaf Save Editor is that you can change the island pieces to make your island nice and big. This is super fun to do. I love showing this off to people. Um, just click on a square you want to change and you can use the main pieces here and those will still load or you can use the island pieces down here. So you pick whatever pieces you want to make your little island and you can move the buildings around over here. So if you want the island hut to be like there or wherever you can do that, you can change Lloyd to another public works project. I sometimes like to make him a cafe, or I don't know, that's usually what I change him to, but you can change him to a lot of different stuff. But you won't have a, a Lloyd there anymore. So if you hack, that's not a problem. 
but if you are enjoying your fishing time at the island, leave yourself some golden tools or whatever, or just leave Lloyd there. And uh, something to know is that you won't be able to drop anything on any of the squares out here, like you can't plant anything, but um, still something cool to do. All right, guys, that wraps up our video. Hopefully you enjoyed this and learned a few things. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you like. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey.